Hell, because if we weren't sexual, and we haven't been sexual since high school, why are we gonna be sexual now that you? Porter did sleep with Melanica in the past. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sami Sampi, and today I'm going to talk about the latest episode of Love and Marriage. And well, actually, I'm going to talk about the scene between Martel and Melanica. Let's get right into it. This scene was so cringy, so awkward. Martel is talking to Melanica, and he's letting her know what came out of the discussion between Kimi and Mel. Here's the thing, now they're making it look like Mel has been talking about them and everything, which she has, but I felt like Kimi brought her to talk about that situation. That is not something that just came out just because. I already talked about it in the last my last episode review. I'm gonna put a link for it. So, Melanica's response was really weird. Hurt people, hurt people. I felt like at first she was trying to say, you know, I'm a married woman and because she's been hurt, she wants to hurt me trying to make Mel look like a fool. Then you talk to about... Her came because of, I guess, the wedding is where it started. I was your wedding planner, and people want to know what happened, why is she not? My mom actually took over because there was some confusion. You quit. I quit? Yeah. So my assistant says you were trying to talk to her. Something happened, right? Then Martel talk about we haven't been sexually involved since high school. So y'all have slept together in the past. What tells us you haven't been continuing sleeping with each other? Melanica look like she's hiding something. And it coming out is making her look really, really bad. Especially that as a married woman, she's working with Martel, a man that she has slept with in the past. How is that going to look like with her husband? Because she did sleep with Martel. Martel admitted to it and she didn't say no you're lying last part yeah oh well mind y'all business i ain't slept with you don't want to sleep with you and they can't check for me for whoever i sleep with no girl i feel like when someone really have not done anything wrong they would just say hey i didn't do anything you know what i mean they would say like no i never slept with this person we never had a sexual relationship together point blank period not the whole who cares what I slept about with and blah 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 she's talking like a 17 year old trying to get interested when you're grown as married woman and that makes you look super bad let me know what you think in the comment Marta once again was talking too much and then at the very end of it he was talking about you don't want to sleep with me trying to make it like it's a game and they're playing and everything yo that was so awkward like i felt like it was awkward it was rehearsed and they did a bad job at it <laughs> we do see melody talking to her mom about the situation where she posted latisha's picture melody's mom was trying to be petty and more so was being a petty boots that's what i gotta say about it what what do you want to say about it they are being petty as hell and they're hiding themselves behind whatever there's nothing i can do for those people they're being petty why would Melody's mom post a picture of Latisha with a t-shirt saying team wife when you know that Latisha and your daughter are not getting along? Girl, stop. And then you're talking about they've been lying on you. You were really sleeping with Marcel and them's brother. You just didn't want your business to be out there. I understand. I get it. But they don't care. They wanted to bring it up and it is what it is. Destiny, I wish that you had that energy since the last season. Whenever Mel's name was coming out, I wish that you kept that same energy so that you don't talk about her and we could you know move forward you're having your opening i'm happy for you it was nice to see dr contessa dr lo contessa is looking great we all know what's about to happen next week and for that episode i'm going to come back and i'm going to review the entire episode and then the whole situation between tisha talking to martel i mean tisha doesn't trust martel i understand that they're adding in in the whole business that they brought together by for the show at the end of the day there needs to be a link between them i like to see boss lady tisha as she said she's very emotional in her relationship but she's a boss lady and a lot of women are like that you will see a lot of women out there in the street that know how to take care of their business but are very emotional when it comes to their personal life and nothing to it those are the layer of being a woman and a human being the episode was okay but you know the big boom is coming next week and i will be there to review it see you all next week Bye.